everyone, this is Isaiah Scorpion Die 99 and I'm back to my first Undertale video. What this is, is about, about Asriel. Now, if you, decide, if you decide to take the true pacifist run, what happens, this is spoiler alert, I almost forgot to say that. What happens is that once Flowey, who, was As who of course is later for the Azrael, absorbs all the human souls along with the monster souls, he then becomes his aid, then transforms his um god form, which is called the god of hyperdeath. Now once you decide once you decide to beat him well I shouldn't say beat him because he doesn't because you don't necessarily have to kill him or do anything. Instead you just you just win just by him reminding of by him reminding by you reminding him who he Used to be. Yeah. Here comes the theory. The theory that I have is that maybe Azrael was always the god of Hyperdale. And the, the evidence I have for this is that once the, the evidence that I have for this is that once it's, once um the credits are finished, you then see Azrael in his god in, hyper, in his god form. And then he then turns back to normal and stating that he's just joking around with you. So maybe he, um, the theory that I have is that maybe he always had that god form before. It's just that he, um, it's just that he was holding back until, it's just that he was holding back until maybe on the right time. So maybe, he, so maybe he always had the god form before. It's just that he never, it's just that he didn't want anybody else to know. About how powerful it was, because maybe he thought that maybe th they would look down at him and maybe see that he's nothing but a monster. Metaphor, metaphorically, not literally. Even though he literally is one. And also, and also, it's actually sh it's actually shown in the battle that. That he does have, it, that there is a, not access, there is um, there there is a point in the battle where he has like this thing called the hypergonic, which is like this go head thing, and what it does that's meant to get rid of all the timelines things. What it's supposed to do, and since it resembles a gaster blaster, um, may, maybe 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 because he absorbs um all the all the monster souls maybe. Since he absorbed Sans' soul, maybe that maybe that would explain why he has the hypergoner. Because the hypergon is the hypergoner does look similar to the Gaster Blaster, except um I don't think it does the exact same move that the Gaster Blaster does. What the Gaster Blaster does that it shoots his beam out of its mouth. Well, the hypergoner just kinda does Yeah, I don't even know what it does. I don't I don't, I don't even know what type of attack is it even doing. Like of course I know that it's get running. It's getting rid of. It's getting rid of. It's getting rid of time, but is it like shooting a beam? Or is it like I'm just, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say it shoots a beam out of its mouth. Cause that's what it looks like. And and maybe the reason maybe um the reason why he had the god form is maybe he was just maybe he was just maybe this was destined to happen and maybe once he absorbed Char's soul maybe that's maybe that's what caused him to maybe um maybe that's what caused him to find out oh he has this power inside of him except. Except maybe, except maybe he didn't want anybody to know about this until, until later on. Because maybe, maybe he always had the god. Maybe he always had this form before. It's just that maybe he was afraid of what everybody would react, or how everyone would react to him. Maybe they think, maybe they would think that he's a monster metaphorically. So, I think, I'm gonna end, I think I'm gonna end this theory off now because, well, 
so I think, I just, I think I've gotten all the stuff that I wanted to say out. So, if you like this, why not leave a like? If you dislike it, why not dislike it? If you want to see more videos like these, why not subscribe? Alright, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.